Now, <laughs> many of us will be starting the new year with a resolution, but if you're hoping to take up running, we're about to make it a little bit easier for you. Well, that's because we're joined now by the creator of one of the most popular fitness programmes in the world. It's called the Couch to 5K, and Josh Clark joins us now from America. Josh, it's a, a pleasure to, to talk to you. Thank, Thank you so much for joining to us today. I downloaded the... I mean, there are quite a few apps, but mm -hmm. I downloaded one this morning because I thought, right, that's it, I'm going to do something. That's like it, yeah. I was, I was cycling for a while, but maybe this is something for me. I'll give a go. But the thing is that you're, you're not uh, a superhuman gym bunny, are you? I mean, you're a regular guy who essentially went through a breakup. That's right. No, yeah, but 25 years ago now in 2021 uh, is when the Couch to 5K program kind of came to life. And, and you're right, I, I was in no sense of the word uh, an athlete. Uh, you know, growing up, it's something that I thought that people who were runners were crazy, to be honest. You know, I, 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 I hated it with a white hot heat, I think it's fair to say. You know, lungs burning, shins aching. I didn't even know I had muscles on my shins until I started running. Uh, but you're right. Uh, in my early 20s, I had a tough breakup and I had all that jittery, anxious energy that comes with those things. And so I did the unthinkable as I laced up some sorry trainers and <laughs> went out and it was terrible. It was painful and horrible. And uh, what I came to learn is that I was kind of doing it wrong, that I was being that I was sort of doing it too, too quickly and uh, running too fast and too far, which I think is is what often happens. And so uh, until then, um, I had really been um, I had met sort of with defeat with all of my attempts at fitness or at running. And for some reason, and this particular bout, I kept going and discovered uh, on the other side that it was actually, uh, I enjoyed it. So, uh, so I had is, not was there like a, a they say in the, in, the, yeah. in the gym, you go through the burn, you know, mm -hmm. go through the pain. Cause I know that we all hear no pain, no gain. You say no pain, no pain. And I like that, that's mm -hmm. a good philosophy for me. But was there a, a, like an epiphany, a moment where you actually broke through the barrier? Yeah, and, and it didn't take that long. I would say after just sort of a week or two of doing it, I found uh, a pace that felt good. And as I was doing it, I, I felt good not only after the run, but during the run and, and finding it almost some meditative moments, creative moments, uh, as well as just enjoying the actual act of motion. I think that's the thing, isn't it? I think, as you said, we've all done that thing where we go, OK, new year, new me, I'm going to put on my trainers and I'm going to go on a run, and you burn yourself out doing one that you just sort of think, OK, running isn't for me. I've actually done... I ran the marathon uh, about four years ago, three, four years ago. And um, thank you. I mean, I couldn't I couldn't run for the bus now. I don't know what happened. I sort of I had it in my locker and then it all sort of went. But you really, really helped me. Actually, I was saying this morning, wasn't I? That, and it's just the sort of gradual process of it. When, when you put this together, am I right in saying your mum was the first person to do Couch to 5K, right? That's that's right. You know, so after all this happened, I realized that I sort of had the zeal of the converted and I wanted to share with other skeptical would be runners this this way to, to get at it. There's there's my mom uh, while she was walking a, a half marathon a few years later. But so I, I wrote the Couch to Fives K schedule with my mother in mind, with sort of a, a son's love of his mother uh, in mind for, for how to kindly introduce running. Uh, and so, you know, it, it starts easily just in the first week, you're walking for 90 seconds and then jogging for a minute and then walking for 90 seconds and jogging for a minute. And, and most of us, that's a very attainable goal. And so you're starting with these easy victories. It's like, oh, I can, I can do this mix of walking and jogging and introduce this new motion into, into my life and into my routine. And so, how, how realistically now, uh, I mean, I'm sure that lockdown has helped and the pandemic has helped enormously, because I, I think I probably hadn't heard of Couch to 5K mm -hmm. prior to all of this, but it's now the there's this year. massive yeah. resurgence. There will be a lot of people, and there have been a lot of people, who've been, uh, who've been doing this. If you are thinking now, right, OK, I, I do need to do something, um, how does it work? How, how long before you begin to, to, to work your way through it and is it going to hurt me? 
<laughs> yeah, that's right. And I think you're right. This is sort of good timing. It's almost COVID to 5K at this point, isn't it? But uh, it's it's about it's a nine week program, and so as, and, and you do three workouts a week of about 20 minutes each uh, to start. Uh, and as I say, it's a mix of walking and jogging. Uh, and so you can download uh, an app. The, the NHS, for example, uh, has a has a Couch to 5K app and a podcast, if you prefer that sort of thing, uh, to use to follow the program through the nine weeks. And at the end of the nine weeks, you're jogging for uh, 30 minutes at a time, and ready for for a 5K if if that's your if that's what you want to try to do. And if we have 5K events again or, or park runs. Oh please! <laughs> what about what about? I mean, there are They're people coming. that say um, that that if you if you do a lot of running, uh, that that it impacts on your joints and mm -hmm. you know you can suffer a little bit. But what do you say to that? Yeah, you know, you're naturally going to feel a few aches and pains as you start going. I think the science actually shows that over time. Um, uh, regular runners are less likely to have arthritis in their joints and to have those sort of injuries. But I, I will say that as you get started with any new activity, you're going to naturally feel some soreness and some aches as your body gets used to it. But again, no pain, no pain, friends, right? We want to sort of go into this thing easily and gently and with kindness. I think a lot of times we approach resolutions or any new fitness program from a kind of a place of penance that we're trying to fix something that we think is broken, that we don't feel good about ourselves. And I think one of the things that's really built into Couch to 5K uh, as a real sort of value is to be kind to yourself and to be gentle to yourself. And instead of punishing yourself for all of the sins of the holidays, for example, <laughs> uh, it's, it's really to be kind to yourself and introduce something that can be a pleasure and a benefit and something that maybe could be a, a lasting habit. Well, um, one of our team, uh, you may or may not know, Gok Wan, who is a, a very talented mm -hmm. uh, f fashionista, uh, he's a talented chef. DJ. Very good DJ, very good all-rounder. Um, he's uh, he's uh, sent us in this message uh, directly to you. I really, really desperately want to learn how to run. Um, I have tried before, but my body just doesn't seem to do what my head tells it to. And so I approach it like I'm going to be an extra from Chariots of Fire. But the reality is I end up looking like Animal from the Muppets on the drums and my limbs go absolutely everywhere. So that's the first thing. Is there a way of running beautifully? Um, and how do you do it? Uh, the other question I've got is I hate being out of breath. And is there a way of controlling your breathing or learning how to do it very, very quickly? Because also as well, I'm massively impatient. And I know that unless I see results or unless I start being able to do it very, very quickly, I will give up. But I am desperate, desperate, desperate to learn. So I wonder if you could help me. Thanks, Josh. OK, Josh, <laughs> so let's deal with the fact that he runs like Animal on the drums. <laughs> Right. Well, you know, I think that but a part of the one of the the missteps, if you will, that a lot of us uh, bring to running when we're first starting is that we take it a little bit too literally. It says running right on the tin. Right. So we go all out. We run as hard as we can. And and really to get started, it, it's it's go more gently, just sort of jog and have a, a, a slower rhythm, you know, go slower than you think you should and then go slower again. And so, uh, you know, I think that the form uh, will will start to develop, especially as you start slowly and then gradually build faster over time. Time. But it's not running to start with, right? I mean, I think the Couch to 5K program really starts with a mix of, of walking and, and jogging, slow, so easy jogging. His other, his other part of the question was uh, was being out of breath. What, mm. what you're doing is kicking that can down the road, aren't you? You're sort of getting to the stage as, uh, as, you, uh, as you exercise just that little bit more and that little bit more. But being out of breath is always just the next step away. That's right. When you're out of breath, that means that you're sort of now kind of going well beyond a comfort level, right? And I think that especially as you're starting, stay within that comfort level. So paying attention to that breath, it's, it's sort of, again, sort of some, similar to meditation in some ways. Pay attention to your breath as you're going. And if you find yourself really rasping, really lungs burning, you're going too hard. Be kinder to yourself. Slow down. Go a little easier. Take a walk break. Uh, but the breathing, you know, we naturally know how to breathe. You don't have to teach yourself to breathe. Your body is telling you that you're going too hard if you're way out of breath um, with this program. Well, amazing, Josh. It's lovely to talk to you. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. You and make me so relaxed. Yeah, it's got very relaxing to have gone into voice some as well. sort of trance. Yeah, <laughs> you've, never, you've never made any money out of this. Yes. This is the thing I can't mm -hmm. believe that uh, it's never been monetized. This is just sort of out there for the world. 
That's right. Yep. I created the original schedule 25 years ago and others have created websites and apps and podcasts uh, around it, which is great. As far as I'm concerned, I just wanted to share this this passion uh, with, with the world and make it attainable, starting and, with my mom. And just between, well done. Uh, just between you and me, there's no point over those years that you've thought, oh, God, I wish <laughs> I'd got my name all over this. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will say that it's occurred to me, you know, my career is in a whole other field. I'm a digital designer. So it's it's a whole other kind of area. Um, but as successful as I've been in that career, I will say that, you know, Couch to 5K is probably the most meaningful thing that I've ever done. And that to me is much more important than any profit that might come from it. Thank well you, done. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you very much as well, because you really did help me. So Thanks thank for that. you. Yeah, that's it. I'm on it now. I'm on it now. Listen to him all day long. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm like, uh, uh. <laughs>